Hi guys, what's up? It's Admiral. I'm bringing you the latest server from MCPVP. It is minecraftbuild.com. The IP will be in the description. It is just a pure build server. Uh, so when you log on to the server, you'll be taken to a spawn. It may or may not look like this, but what you're going to want to do at the start when you join is slash create and slash create, create your own map. And you can build here, you can world edit here we have a custom designed world edit so crashing the server is not as easy as it is with the regular world edit uh, when you join you are given your map is given a number like mine is 5299 say if I wanted to change the name I'd do slash name test and that changes the name of the map and if I wanted my friends to join the server and build I would do perm their name and then member it's an invalid player, but uh, it would work if it was an actual player. So you do slash perm their name and their member. If you want to remove their permissions on your map, you do uh, revoke their name. And that's all you need to type. And then they lose any permissions they had on your server. Uh, other commands you might need to know are slash private. We'll make it so no one can teleport to you while you're working on your map. Uh, slash public is the opposite of that. Other commands include warp set 1 and then when I do go 1 I go to that warp so you can set warps around your map. Each map is around I think 500 each direction maybe a little bit less. Alright so basically how the world edit works it works in exactly the same way as world edit normally works except there's a limit of most commands are limited so you can't crash the server and the maximum blocks you can change at one time is one million I'll try show you something here so to explain how it would work so if I wanted to set this stone hopefully you'll be able to see see how it renders well wasn't a good example but it does it in increments so it doesn't render it all at once so that reduces crashing other commands you may need to know is when you've got more than one map uh, you can do slash map and you can see maps that you are a visitor, member and owner on. If you click owner you can see all of the possible maps that uh, that you have. So let's just say we wanted to go to map ID 69, click on that and then we could go in here and we could start building. So slash map is a great way to keep track of all of your maps. Uh, if you want to ban someone from your map, they're being a pain in the ass, you just do perm their name, like Gaze McGee, and then ban. Actually, it is banned. Like that, but uh, he's not on the server. I didn't even spell his name right, that's why. Gaze McGee, like that permissions been added so he's banned from this server uh, you cannot spawn mobs you cannot throw things so people can't lag out the server that way uh, command blocks are mod only so that's how that works as well uh, TNT is disabled most griefing blocks are disabled uh, redstone is fully functional as far as I'm aware uh, yeah so what you're gonna have to do is connect with the IP minecraftbuild.com I will put the link everywhere for you and hopefully if you've got any questions you can ask people on the server and they'll know and you can do that by when you join the server you are in slash L and that's local so that's just a chat to your map like that and if you do slash G and do hi that is everyone on the server gets your message so that is the way you talk to people on the server I hope I've explained this server well enough for you to get to know it since it is very new I'm not sure how many slots it will have at this current time because there's only seven people online right now but this is when uh, the server's just in testing so yeah uh, join the server have a build try not to crash it and just come and have a fun time I'll see you guys later